Welcome to our video reflections on the shortest day of the year. Time is short. On Tuesday, December the 21st, the winter solstice. Solstice is a word that comes from the Latin which means the sun stands still. But of course it doesn't stand still, does it? Time marches on and we have to make the most of it, particularly perhaps on the shortest day when the daylight is uh, at its shortest span uh, of all the days of the year. We're doing our best to uh, make the most of the short time we have to enjoy being grandparents, um, happy, best job in the world um, and having our third grandchild has been fantastic just a, a week and two days ago now and and it's it's fantastic make the most of all the opportunities you have puts everything else into some sort of perspective into a proper sort of perspective i might add the winter solstice is associated with all kinds of um pre-christian um customs and rituals the yule log comes from this time it's it's officially the first day of winter. It's the point at which uh, one year comes to an end. The solar cycle sort of finishes. The next one begins. It's a time for ending and for beginning. It's a time for thinking about what has been and drawing together some thoughts about what might be in the future as well. So the Yule log was originally a, a log that you... Uh, set fire to, uh, surrounded by your friends and you thought around the campfire uh, of all the things that have been special about the last year and about all your hopes for the future as well. And often there would be a, a smaller log that would be passed around uh, which has sort of branches sticking out of it and, and people were invited to put their hopes uh, and their worries about the future onto a piece of paper to scrunch it into uh, the uh, shorter, the smaller Yule log and then that was placed into the fire uh, and it was consumed. For that's what our hopes and fears um, are for. They are, they are to be thought through uh, but also to be consumed as part of the great intention. And that's what the Yule Log was about. It was about driving forward into the new year with all kinds of intentions of how life would be different, of how we would become better people. It's all tied into the New Year resolution stuff. So I wonder, even at this stage, what your intentions are. What's important to you uh, as we move from one part of our uh, life's journey into uh, the rest of it because each day really is a new beginning a putting aside of the things that have been for the things that are to be the reading for today uh, is a passage that i looked at in the circuit service um, uh, earlier on in this month it was sort of looking at the whole idea of, of, of what it means for us to be in a covenant relationship with God. And the final verse of that passage in Isaiah 62 says this, They shall be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, and you shall be called sought out, a city not forsaken. Fantastic good news for a people who had been used to being in exile and were now being brought back only to find their city in ruins when they arrived but they set to because they believed that God would not indeed forsake them and that they were not forgotten that they would be redeemed that they were wholly chosen this time of year we've been getting uh, extra mail through our letterboxes 
I wonder if you get as many for people who don't live at your address as we do. We've had Christmas cards to uh, the Mankins, uh, to the Lloyds, to the Humes. <laughs> I spent ages trying to work out who one particular family were, only to spot at the top of the card that it was to Gavin and Tracy. Um, it wasn't meant for us at all, really. But it came our way. This message that comes in Isaiah 62 is for us, for all of us. It's not gone to the wrong address. It's not addressed to the wrong people. You will be called the holy people. You will be called the redeemed of the Lord. You will be called sought out. A city not forsaken. This is a great promise. What a great greeting uh, to, to put on a card uh, from God to us, as it were, this Christmas. We are the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. We should be called sought out, a city not forsaken. Let's enjoy the blessing. Time is short. Let's make the most of all the blessings that God gives us.